Hey guys, it's Ivus here and welcome to the next episode from the Borussia Dortmund career mode. I think this is episode 6 and we're approaching the January transfer window. So before we start with the episode guys, I really want to thank you for the love and the support you're showing so far in this series. And of course, if you have any suggestions guys, which player should I sign, then please leave it down in the comments. It's going to be much, much appreciated to hear your opinion. And for today's episode, I think we have a huge episode coming up, especially for the Bundesliga. I think in the Champions League, we're already through to the next round. I'm gonna see like if we have, of course, a chance to actually be first place, like ahead of Manchester City, then I'm gonna just try to get the win here. If not, then I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, in the Bundesliga, we have some crucial games before actually the January transfer window. So for sure, we're gonna finish with December, at least for this episode. And then probably we're gonna see actually how our teams is developing. And also probably we're gonna just try to scout some players that we're actually gonna sign because we are definitely in a need right now for our left back because we actually sold Guerrero last episode to Real Madrid. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and this career mode. And of course, if so, then please leave a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, if you haven't already. We're pushing right now to the 4k mark so every every single support is going to be much much appreciated but let's now start with the first game against Hoffenheim so Hoffenheim are actually sixth and we are fifth so it's going to be super super interesting uh, game guys I'm going to probably play the game because I think we have a lot of like possibilities here to actually win the game but let's see the squad is going to be this one I don't think I'm going to make some changes in my opinion the game against Sevilla is just going to be for the protocol and we're, it's not going to be that like important for us so that's why I'm I'm gonna put the main squad actually against Hoffenheim right now. So let's see, we are guests. And it's snowing? Really? Ooh, this is gonna be a tough game then if it's like snowing. So let's hope that the boys can deliver. Nice here, nice interception. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, to Dembele. Usman Dembele. What a finish. What a vision from Marco Royce to actually pass to Dembele there, guys. Jesus Christ. Look at the pass from Marco Royce. Maybe here I should have passed to Obama Young to make it actually a better chance of us scoring. But here it was a nice finish from Dembele with his left foot. What a beautiful start of the career mode episode, guys. Like, oh wow, this was his second goal in 10 games. Ooh, this is definitely not good performance from Dembele, guys. I really expect him to score at least like 10 or 15 plus goals this season, but maybe he will step up. Oh, this looks dangerous. Nice, Kobel. Poof. What a save from Kobel, guys, here. This was a really dangerous at some point. Oh, no, what a mistake from Schlotterbeck. What a mistake from Schlotterbeck, but what a, like, recovery from him. Jude Bellingham is gonna be soon back to the lineup guys. I'm super excited to actually have Jude Bellingham again back in the lineup. Probably I'm not gonna risk him because I don't want like to uh, make his injury come back. But for sure he's gonna come back probably in the next upcoming weeks. Ooh, Guerrero get past here. Oh no, this looks dangerous guys. This is looking really dangerous. Ah, Hoffenheim puts one back. This was so bad defending from me honestly like... I defended so bad here. Look at where Schlotterbeck was. Look at Zule here. And then just easy goal for him. A really bad defending, guys. A really bad one. Oh, the hood. Nice one, the hood. Obama Young to Dembele. Oh, good try, though. Good try, but what a nice save. Julian Brandt. Nice one. Come on, Jeremy Frimpong. Frimpong! Let's go! Jeremy Frimpong with a beautiful finish. I told you guys at the beginning of the season that this guy will have for sure 10 goals or assists at least in this season. I think he already had some nice stats, but what a beautiful finish here from Frimpong. Nobody covered him. And with his right foot, beautiful finish. No chance for the goalkeeper. Let's go, we are taking back the lead against Hoffenheim we definitely need here a wins guys if you want to stay like for the title in the title race and so we definitely need here a win what a nice interception from the hood come on this is the first goal from Frimpong but in my opinion he has probably three or four assists already oh not bad can that be another one oh we're approaching the end of the first half guys and so far it's looking so good like 2-1 for us we are basically dominating the game Super happy with the performance of the boys. Look at Frimpong, Frimpong, what are you doing? Okay, good, it's like end of the half and it's not gonna be that problematic if 
we lost the ball there so end of the half 2-1 for us looking good we definitely need here a win against Hoffenheim because it's a tough game it's like the fifth against the sixth so oh no oh no now it's looking really dangerous guys now it's super dangerous Schlotterbeck no what a save from Kobel nice one Oof, we survived here now but it's the corner for Hoffenheim so let's go oh no 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 he got over oh, oh no 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 nice block here come on clear the ball clear the ball somehow don't let them shoot don't let them shoot nice Zule oh beautiful here from Zule oh look at the space Dembele has and he's not in offside come on Usmane ah here I messed it up I thought that this kill is gonna be effective, but apparently it was 77th minute corner for Hoffenheim. Clear, good one here, good, good clearance, but still the, the attack is not over. Ooh, Kobel with a beautiful save one more time. I think Kobel will for sure retire at the club, guys. He's gonna be the new Weidenfeller of Dortmund, in my opinion, at least for the career mode. Oh no, oh no, oh wow, Kobel, you beauty! I'm gonna make some changes, guys. Here, I'm gonna just put a De Yemi. Let's give Malen also a chance to play. And here, I'm just gonna put Fernandez to just secure the W, I guess. Oh no, no, no. nice, nice Pulisic. Oof, good one here. Okay, come on, boys, now. Let's take advantage of the counter attack situation. Oh, the hood is all alone. Come on, the hood. The hood is all alone. The hood. 3 1. Let's go. The decider. Nice. What a beautiful game. Actually, the hood had his court against City in the Champions League. Such a crucial one. His courts now to make it 3 1 against Hoffenheim. Let's go, the hood. You are definitely like improving your chance to stay at the club and to remain our top center mid choice nice go here with his right foot beautiful finish from the hood 3-1 let's go nice start of the episode guys in my opinion we definitely gonna start with a win so things are starting good this is his first goal in the bundesliga oh wow dangerous free kick for hoffenheim but this in my opinion is gonna be their last chance of scoring and they actually score jesus christ what a beautiful finish from the free kick no 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 be careful guys be careful just don't let them score one more time please game over all right win is a win 3-2 against hoffenheim at the end but they scored in the last seconds but we all scored in the last second so fair play good game good game and the next game is against Sevilla guys in the Champions League and look how the standing is actually looking so we're definitely through to the next round but if we manage to win against Sevilla guys that means we're actually gonna be first in the group and I'm for sure gonna go for it I'm not gonna play the game I'm just gonna watch it but in my opinion we have here a huge huge opportunity to remain top of the group and actually play not that difficult opponents in the second um, like second stage of the, uh, the Champions League so let's hope here we can actually win the game it's gonna be super difficult and of course Sevilla start with a goal this was not how we actually planned it but there is enough time for us to turn the game guys and it's at our stadium so definitely there is a lot of chance for us to improve it and we scored one back with Marco Royce pretty much immediately so game back on come on Dortmund for sure we need a win because if we end up here drawing in my opinion like uh, City are gonna win for sure against Copenhagen and I think City has a better goal difference than us and also in the head-to-head -head they had also advantage so we need to win here draw is not gonna be good enough so come on boys oh nice one to Alba pass it back Pulisic oh good save good save from the Sevilla goalkeeper from the corner come on come on score it score no come on can we score before the half time come on let's go Pierre Emerick Obama Young we're taking the lead against Sevilla just before the half time kicks out nice one I'm gonna make probably some changes guys here I want to give Royce a rest and I'm gonna put Fernandez 
whom else will also take place and let's just give Malen a chance to play instead of Alba. I know that just Alba scored but I want to actually keep him fresh also for the league games and I think Malen is developing such a nice one so come on now come on let's score the third one come on boys Oh, this looks dangerous for Sevilla. Don't let them score, guys. Don't let them score. It's gonna be super important not let to let them score. Good one here. But the, okay, now it's cleared. Okay, come on, take. Let's take them on the counter attack. Come on now. Come on, Malen, you are fast. Come on, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. Ah. Maybe after that we should look how the group stage of the Champions League are looking and who are we actually can play. It's going to be super interesting, but let's first win the game against Sevilla to secure the first place. 20 minutes left, guys, or under 20 minutes. Things are looking good, but still nothing is secure. Now it is Malen with the goal. Go, let's go. 3-1. Oh, oh, what a miss from Sevilla, guys. I think it's definitely now game over. We managed to win against Sevilla our last game of the Champions League. So we won actually five and lost only one against City so pretty happy with it pretty happy and we managed to win it guys 3-1 against Sevilla let's go there it is guys our group stage we finished first Manchester City finished second and Sevilla going to the Europa League but let's check the other groups right now it's gonna be super interesting so in the first group Napoli and Liverpool going through okay Ajax finished fourth this is surprising so that means that oh no we can face Liverpool right now Jesus Christ! So in the second group, okay, here is looking much better. Atletico Madrid and Bruges, so we can face Bruges. Oh no, we can face Barca. Bayern finished first, Barca finished second, and Inter third. So we can face so far Barca and Liverpool from the first three groups. Here is oh nice, Spurs are out of the group stage. Let's go! They're going to the Europa League. Yes, get out of here, Spurs. So Frankfurter first, Olympic Marseille second, Milan, oh no, we can face Chelsea too, Jesus Christ, okay, at least Real Madrid we cannot face, and Leipzig we can also not face because they're from Germany, here this is our group, and Juve finished actually second, so we get past at least PSG, so it's gonna be such an interesting draw, I don't know when this actually gonna take place, and this is how it's looking in the Bundesliga, oh wow! Based on the team performance in the competition, the club has received additional funds. This will allow us to increase the transfer budget. We received 27 million from the Champions League. Let's go! Wow! How? How we managed to receive so much money from it? Let's go! So what means that to our budget? I still cannot understand our budget because here it's written that we have 30k, but this cannot be true or... I'm not 100% sure. Let's see guys, let's see. So the next game is against Freiburg and this game I'm not gonna play, I'm just gonna watch for sure and I'm actually gonna give some of our boys a chance to perform because I think they definitely deserve some a little bit like of a rest, Obama Young for sure is gonna take a little bit of break, Guerrero is gonna also take a little bit of a break, let's give also Hummels a chance to perform, Reina will also be there. Adeyemi is gonna play instead of Pulisic and he's gonna be actually on the left here. Bellingham, he's still not fit enough so I'm just gonna not like uh, put him in the lineup. So let's just give Frimpong also the chance and let's watch the game. And let's see how the team is actually gonna perform guys. It's gonna be super super interesting to see actually how the team does perform. In my opinion we should definitely be the favorites here. It's at our stadium but you never know guys, you never know. Come on, come on, come on, we haven't scored so many goals from the corner, actually not a lot at all. But maybe now, maybe now! Oh, I thought we scored, but we didn't, we didn't. Come on, boys. We are dominating the game in the first 20th minute, but so far nothing spectacular, guys. Oh no, oh no! Ooh, Kobe with a nice save here. Good, good that we have him, guys. Honestly, like he's so sensational for us so far. Nice here, good. Good, good, good. Come on. Come on, cross it. Come on, Malen. Oh, Malen with a huge miss here. And again, we haven't, we didn't score from the corner. Come on, score from the corner. No, but another one. Come on now. Oh, let's go. Adeyemi with a beautiful goal. It was a rebound, but it was a goal. Come on, boys. 1-0 for us. Come on, we definitely need here a huge, like, huge W, guys. Come on. 
No, 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 no. Nice, Cobel. Nice one. Ooh, he's this guy's honestly sensational, guys. And then in the end of the episode, we're gonna just check how the team is developing and so. Come on! Ooh, good try. So look, we have seven shots on target. Like, so seven shots, two chances, one goal. They have zero shots, uh, zero chances, sorry, and only two shots on target so far. Just before the half time, can we secure the goal? Come on! Come on! Ooh, huge miss. So, end of the first half, it's 1-0 zero, zero for us. We want to give Fernandez the chance to play, and then this guy is also going to play instead of Dembele. I know that probably this is a mistake, but we're dominating them, guys. So, I really want to keep our boys fresh for the upcoming games. Okay, near 70th minute, guys. It's looking good so far. We're leading, but it's only 1-0, so... We definitely need to score a second to actually secure the W here because 1-0 is not a good advantage. Malen, uh, how you missed that, Malen? Uh, this was so close to be a second goal for us and probably game over. Or still it's a chance. Come on. Oh, again, what a save. It's 85th minute and it's looking dangerous right now. Come on, boys. Take the ball. Nice. Go, go, go to the corner flag. Go to the corner flag. Come on, good now. Oh, Reina, make it 2-0. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful attack from the boys. It was in the dying seconds of the game, but doesn't matter. Beautiful, beautiful win, guys. And we managed actually to save our main guys for the upcoming game. So pretty happy with it. Let's see who are we actually going to face in the Champions League. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Don't be Liverpool, please. Don't be Liverpool, please. Not Liverpool. Everyone above, but not Liverpool. Oh, we are facing Juve. Yeah, Juve doesn't look bad. Doesn't look great either. So Barca are playing Napoli. Bruges are playing Milan. City are playing Frankfurt. Oh, big game. Olympique Marseille are playing against uh, Bayern München. Chelsea versus PSG. Oh, Liverpool against Real Madrid. <laughs> nice. Nice one. And we are facing Juve. It's gonna be a battle guys against Juve is definitely gonna be a battle and Leipzig are facing Atletico Madrid so let's hope we can actually move past Juve it's gonna be a difficult one but I think our chances are good and the next game is against the third Frankfurt so probably gonna play the game how is it looking Leipzig are still cruising guys they are still like first with eight point advantage ahead of us but they have 10 points advantage to Bayern München so Bayern are also not doing great with Mane but yeah we definitely need here to win against Frankfurt to actually keep our chance alive and I'm gonna play the game against Frankfurt I think this is the second to last game before the transfer window yeah it is so yeah and wow we have almost a month break or at least like a month break jesus christ this is a lot of break so i'm gonna play with the main squad guys no changes here required so let's play the game against frankfurt and let's hope for the best all right so we're the guests so for sure frankfurt are gonna be the favorite but in my opinion we have the chance to win it and we will probably take it but let's see guys let's see we have the momentum after all of the good games in the champions league and so so let's see let's see we definitely gonna need a new left back for the january transfer window but we have some games until then Ooh, if this pass went through to Dembele, oof, this would have been such a nice assist, but sadly it didn't. But we for sure like I need a backup right back, a good left back that can be like the main left back because I really don't want to play uh, with Nico Schultz as a starter. So it's going to be definitely the two positions that we are looking to upgrade. Nice save here from Kobel. But yeah, it's gonna be difficult to find a good left back that's available right now. It's not that expensive, but I think we can do that. If we somehow manage to get like Tierney from Arsenal, it's gonna be sensational, but highly doubt it's gonna be possible. Oh no, oh no, what a goal from Frankfurt, guys. Jesus Christ, how they scored that. Uh, again, it's gonna be a struggle here. How we messed it up. Good, good shot here. Nothing we can do against that. Is that, who's that? Trejo. I don't know this guy. Come on now, come on now. Look at Pulisic. Look at Christian Pulisic. He has all of the speed in the world. No, this was meant for Dembele. This was not meant for him, but what a beautiful assist from 
Usman Dembele to Marco Royce 1-1 what a beautiful goal from us guys what a beautiful beautiful goal everything started of course from here the winning of the header of Guerrero but nice assist and Marco Royce will never miss that any day of the week let's go we are back in the game Oh no, oh no, 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 look at here, the 1-2 for Frankfurt, come on Guerrero, cover it up Guerrero, nice one, what a cover from Rafa Guerrero, the new Real Madrid boy who is gonna join them when the transfer window opens. Oh, look at the Usman Dembele, oh wow, oh wow, what a, he has so much space, and he will never miss, he will never miss from here. Usman Dembele guys, what a beautiful signing, I'm super super proud of the team that we actually managed to build so far and of course guys if you like the Borussia Dortmund career most then please leave a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's gonna be much much appreciated from you but what a beautiful finish here from Usman Dembele, let's go! And this was actually the last kick of the half so pretty happy with it, okay? beginning of the second one we definitely need to score more because one goal advantage is not a big advantage so let's see and of course guys if you have any suggestions which player should i sign then please leave them down in the comments it's gonna be much appreciated to hear from you who do you think we should actually need to sign oh no no, no what a mistake oh frimpong you savior Jeremy Frimpong, you savior! Here, Kobel messed it up, but wow! If that was not Frimpong, guys, this was definitely a goal for Frankfurt. Beautiful here. Oh no, look at Frimpong is out of his position. No, no, no! Nice, Kobel! Ooh, Kobel, you beauty! How he managed to save that amazing one for him. Come on, boys! Oh, Giotze is now coming up. The golden boy for the German football. Come on now, come on, let's take them on the counter-attack. Come on, Dembele. Oh, nice one here from Dembele. Oh, look at Dembele, what he did. What he did. No, why to Alba? Why to Alba? I mean, it's good for Alba, but why not to Royce? Again. Why you pass to Alba, not to Royce? Honestly. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, Mario Giotze. No, no, don't let Mario Giotze score. No, 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 no. Here we messed it up. Leipzig, no Leipzig, Frankfurt score 2-2, two, two. again this guy, who is that? Ah, here, what a mistake from us, and nice, beautiful, like, finish, nothing to do against this finish, like, Trejo, I never heard of this guy, but he already scored two goals against us, but the mist of Alba was really a bad one, Dembele did everything perfect, but Alba missed it, okay, to Pulisic, look at, oh no, this is a foul, this was a foul game. Oh wow, what a beautiful pass. Come on now, to Dembele, to Dembele. Come on, Usman. Come oh, what a miss from Dembele, guys. What a miss here. I really thought that he can score, but he didn't. Oh, what an interception here. What an interception to Alba. Come on, Alba. Come on, Alba. Now or never, Alba. Let's go, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. What a beautiful interception from Frimpong to actually lead us to this attack. But here Alba, no chance to mess it up. Nice goal against Kevin Trapp, one of the best goalkeepers in the Bundesliga right now. But what a beautiful finish from Alba. Let's go. 3-2 up against Frankfurt in the dying seconds of the game. Okay, we just need to hold 10 more minutes to actually win the game and secure the W. Nice one from Frimpong. Frimpong is honestly sensational, guys. Look at his run again. Okay, nice one. Oh, how he managed here to cover up. Alba with his left. Ooh, good try though. Good try, but Kevin Trapp was sensational here. This looks dangerous, guys. This looks really dangerous. Why we let that situation? Nice, Zule. Ooh, Zule with sensational stop here. Oh, wow, Kevin Trapp is so early here. It's still 89th minute, Frank, for Chiu. Nice Kobel, come on. Nice, nice one from Dembele here. Come on boys, just don't let them score. Good one, good one here. Good, 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 the hood. Come on, I think it's game over. Yes, yes, we managed to win against Frankfurt. Oof. This was a really difficult game, guys, but what a beautiful way to actually earn it with a comeback at the end. Nice one. So we are right now third and actually 
Uh, Leipzig drew a game, so we are only six points. No, five points behind Frank uh, Leipzig. Let's go. And the next game is against, I think, Werder Bremen. I think Werder Bremen are really like not high in the ranking yet. They have only ten points. So here I'm just gonna play probably some of the backup boys here. I'm just gonna give this Fernandez a chance to play, and I'm gonna give also Reina, and of course Hummels. Why not just giving the boys the chance to play? Marlen can also play instead of Dembele. And I'm gonna give Adeyemi also the chance to play. Bellingham is free to play, but I'm not gonna risk him, guys. I'm not gonna risk him. So here we definitely need a win, guys. So I really hope we can actually win against Werder and not mess it up. I think we have a good chance here to win the game against Werder. But you never know, guys. I give, I think, too many guys a break. And I really hope I don't regret it that at the end, but let's see guys. Come on now, come on. We definitely can score early go and put the game into the bed, but is it gonna happen? Not 100% sure. So far, nothing spectacular in the first 25 minutes of the game, guys. Like, nothing happened so far. Maybe now? Ooh, they hit the crossbar, I think. Oh no, where they scored? Oh no. End of the first half, guys, and we're losing. So I'm just gonna put here some players to actually hope we can actually change the game somehow. I'm not 100% sure if we are actually gonna be able to, but let's see, guys. Let's see. I really hope we can actually win it, but it's gonna be a difficult game. Come on now, come on. Give it all, guys. Give it all. This is the last game before the winter break. Let's go. Dembele with a goal. Come on, boys. We need a big second half here. Come on now. Leave it all on the ground. Come on. Come on. They have only 10 points uh, from the beginning of the season. Just don't let them win against us. We have only one shot, one goal. Jesus Christ. It's not looking good here. They're dominating us. And it's at our stadium. So how is this possible? No. Nice one here. Come on now. Come on. Let's get them on the counter-attack. Come on. Come on, Dembele. Good one here, 1-2 one, with Dembele and Malen. Frimponk is there also to cross it. Jeremy. Oh, good one. Ah. I'm gonna put attacking here. I really want us to attack and win the game. Come on now. Let's go. Daniel Malen with the goal. Let's make it now. Defending. <laughs> Oh no no oh nice Kobel Poof, Kobel is amazing honestly like so impressed with the guy and they scored ah they scored in the 80th minute Jesus Christ I'm gonna put ultra attacking it's now or never guys it's now or never we don't need to lose points against Werder we just don't need to do that but probably we will lose points against Werder looking it right now 90 plus one. I think it's game over for us. Yeah, we lost points against Werder Bremen, sadly. Bad finish before the winter break, but these things happen in football. I probably gave too many guys a rest, but... So we are gonna finish actually the episode on the third place. Seven points behind uh, Leipzig, which is a huge, huge gap in my opinion. Like if we haven't uh, drew that, maybe we could have been with five, only five points and we could have probably a chance to win the Bundesliga. There is still a chance for us to win it, but it's going to be a difficult run. And before we end the episode, guys, I really want to check how, uh, like how the team is developing and so. And also we need to take into consideration the new contracts of the players. So Kobel already plus six. Let's go here to the stats. He is sensational in my opinion. Guerrero is sadly leaving us. He only scored one goal. I mean, only he did good. Only one goal and four assists. So pretty happy with it. Shoes is going to remain the backup. He is now 75 overall, which is good. Zule is plus two overall. Really happy with him. Schlotterbeck is also plus two. He's developing nice one. Collins sadly haven't touched the ground. The same as this Koulibaly. Hummels is uh, like decreasing in the rating, but it's still uh, he's doing a phenomenal job at least in the Champions League. So super happy with him. I think we're gonna like bring this guy back uh, because I definitely need a backup right back, and in my opinion, he's gonna do the job. So probably I'm gonna bring him back. Frimpong, one goal and four assists. So looking good. Plus two already. 
he's gonna be sensational for us guys honestly this guy is also playing not that bad like i used him from time to time as a backup he's already plus two so if he develops a little bit more then he's gonna be sensational and then we have this enzo fernandez he's already plus one he hadn't played a lot of games but in my opinion he's gonna be there for the future then we have some guys from the academy jude bellingham he still haven't developed because he what uh, he got injured but he's now back fully recovered from the injury so i'm gonna use him in the next uh, second half of the season for sure the hood is plus two he scored crucial games at, in the champions league and also in the bundesliga so pretty happy with the hood arena is also plus two arena probably should receive a little bit more chances but it is what it is then here we have Marco Royce. He has scored six goals in the Bundesliga and assists four times. He's going already down, but it's normal. He's 33 years old. Then we have Julian Brandt. He's also performing not that bad, plus two already. So looking not bad in my opinion. Then we have this guy who I'm probably gonna sell in the upcoming season. Then we have this Knauf who I'm probably gonna bring back because he as you see here he's already plus two he's playing for leipzig for uh, frankfurt sorry so i'm probably i'm gonna bring him back to be the backup of dembele then we have Pulisic who is already plus two he already scored six goals and six seven so probably he's gonna be double figures like in goal in and in assist by the end of the season so pretty happy with Pulisic same as Dembele seven goals five assists not bad performance at all he scored uh, in the Champions League only once but played this the whole game he hasn't been injured so far so pretty happy with the performance of Dembele and Malen, Malen is, oh wow, Malen scored 10 goals already. In my opinion, Malen should receive more chances from me. He's already plus three, which is sensational. Then we have Adeyemi, who is also developing. He's already plus two, so not bad, not bad. And then we have Obama Young, who is also going down. But he scored 10 goals and assisted five times so far, guys, in the Champions League. He scored six goals out of six games. Pretty happy. This guy, Mukoku, haven't received the chance so far to play, but maybe maybe we can actually look uh, to loan him somewhere and modest also haven't played a single game i think it's gonna be the game over for modest and he's gonna be gone but yeah this is gonna be for it guys the next episode is gonna be the beginning of the january transfer window so if you have any suggestions what type of player should i sign please leave it down in the comments it's gonna be much much appreciated to hear from you but until now guys i wish you a great day and bye bye